Sorry. Gonna put on Sandy's. Hey guys, welcome to Milgap Farms. We're not working on turkeys today. We'll do them next month. Right now we gotta work on a tether. Come on, let me show you what it looks like. You guys wanna come too? Come on, let's go. Guys, we got a lot of wind today, and that should be okay or should help us out with our drying of our hay. I cut most of the morning and into the afternoon, and now I need to get the tether ready so I can flip it. And that's basically what it is. Let me show it to you. All right, here's the tether, guys. This is the back side of the tether, of course. This is what we're gonna be doing today, putting more tines on it. And <clears throat> I'm gonna say, this thing's a beast. I love this tether. It's, uh, I won't say it's bulletproof, because I broke a whole bunch of tines on it. And I went online and got them. They're a different color. But that's okay. What this thing does is it tilts down. So the, the whole black section there is going to rotate down to a couple inches or maybe an inch above the ground where those tines are going to spin. And this tine spins clockwise. This one spins counterclockwise, counterclockwise. No, clockwise, counterclockwise, right? And so what they're doing is they're grabbing the hay and just throwing it. And that flips it upside down if you got all the tines. But as you can see, there's a broken tine. I got a lot of broken tines, guys. I went over to my neighbors and um, I hit a rock and it just destroyed my bat, my, my tines. And so hard to, hard to find them. Finally found them, got them ordered, came here. And now I need to use a tether this afternoon. So it's time to fix it. guys I bought probably I bought enough of these to do the whole let me see this not going on oh I'm such an idiot <laughs> I'm such an idiot all right so I bought enough of these to do my entire uh tether because I know for sure that I'm gonna be breaking these things in just you know no time so better to have a couple extra after I'm done putting these on so that, you know, when I break them, I got them. No worries. Here we go. It's a 19 millimeter. Doesn't always fit that well. I probably should be using another socket. The impact's gonna make this job a whole lot easier. Yep. Nope. That works. Huh, look at that one. I oh, know that's broken. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here's something kind of interesting. Now, you could put these things on with just a bolt by itself, but if they break, this thing's coming flying off. So check it out. They engineered it so that what you have is a little clip. It's a metal clip. And so when you slide this guy on, you take this guy, put it like so. So when it breaks, this is being held on and these guys won't come screaming off and hit you. You know what? I'm gonna go get a socket. This is silly. So guys, instead of using a socket with a regular drive, I just got a breaker bar. I know that I'm gonna have to take them off, put them on, so I'm constantly gonna to have to be clicking and changing it. 
So with this tool, I'm not going to have to do that. I'm, just gonna, I'm simply going to put it on and I'm going to hold it. And actually probably get hit in the side. There we go. It's kind of loud. All right, get out of the way, crazy. Oh, that's not going to work. I got some stuff in the way. Stars. 24 of those things are really heavy. That's good shape. Good shape. Now, all right, you can see I, that is not working. But I welded this one. You know, I did pretty good and it worked. But you know what? To, to spend time welding these things versus trying to fix them or put a new one on doesn't really make sense. Ooh, that's probably why it's kind of bouncing around a bit. Okay, everything I own is a hammer. Now I know what's going on. Ooh, that's not gonna work. All right, we're gonna have to check that one. That is not working. Okay. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. What I didn't buy was extra bolts. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this. Ooh, that's gonna fall down. All right, so you guys can see, I really monkeyed up those threads. I really did. So I got my tap and die set out. You know, I probably could go down to the local co-op. I can't go to Lowe's, that's an hour and a half away. But I could go to the co-op and get some. But I'm gonna give it a try about, you know, if I'm gonna give it a try, see if I can get the threads back on these with my 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 taps and my dies not that way guys right on there okay so guys I was able to get these two baskets completely done I still got two nuts and bolts that are messed up I'm gonna get them done hop over the other side get those baskets completed and then I'm going to show you how we Ted. Oh, that didn't sound good, did it? Probably got some, some metal stuck up in there. Yeah, that's it right there. I'll tell you what I like about these gear wrenches. This particular one, spin it around, go in the other direction. 
I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to try them out. I have enjoyed them. I have two sets. Um, they're, I have one metric. Actually, I got three sets. One is metric, one is standard, and they, they just work really well. There we go. Now you may ask yourself, why am I not using my impact on this? And for sure, I'll break that die. Or tap. I think this is a tap. So I'll probably break that. I don't want to do that. So I just take it nice and easy. And every now and again, when it gets really hard, you just take it and flip it around and go the other direction. Just a little bit. It'll let that metal get out of the, out of the threads. And you just keep on going. There we go. When I do it, I like to get at least halfway down on the tap. That way, I've gotten all my threads cleaned out and the tap is at its normal size about, or is at the proper size in the middle of it. Wow, that's warm. Okay, those are done. Okay, I'm glad you blew back over here. All right, guys, let's go over this thing again. They turn in counterclockwise? No, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. Maybe, I don't know. But they're spinning. And in just a minute, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. There's two wings on this thing, driven by hydraulics. Um, off the tractor we can lift them up and get through gates that's really important it is pto driven and that's about it here's something kind of cool it's got these little discs on the wheels see those little discs right there black disc that keeps the grass or the hay from getting stuck up in there i'm telling you guys this thing's a beast it's a lot of fun all right, guys, I'm gonna show you what it does. I'm gonna hook it up, and then we're gonna go down to Ted for a little bit. You can see how it came up. It went out. Wait a minute. It's not coming up all the way. There we go. All right. So you see how they came up. This means I can get around or get through gates. That's really important. You guys, right there, you can see our apple trees, and that's our BB. If you ever want to come out and visit, go to millgatfarms.com and, uh, and you know, check it out. It's pretty cool. A little pasture right here. For field, this is what we're gonna tend first. And as we get ready to get into the field, we can let down our our wings. Now check this out. When I go the other direction, you watch it come up right off the ground. See it? That little bit right there takes it right to the ground, and that's gonna enable the the little tines. Oh, did we have a broken one? I think we got a broken one, guys. It is a broken one. Oh, that stinks. 
All right, we're going. We're still going to go with it. And there's one missing a tooth. Nope, that tooth is good. So, anyway, guys, these. That's weird. So what's going to happen is the tines are going to hit the grass and flip it and throw it. We run this at a 540 RPM. We definitely got to back down to like second or third. You don't want to start off too fast. Here's another thing. You want to get into your field because if you don't get in the field, you're going to chuck that grass right on that drive. So we're going to hit the PTO. Turn the button now. It starts up, we're going to set our RPM to 540. Put our little, it's sort of like a cruise control. That holds it at 540. And you can see it. You can actually see the ground where it's starting to grab it. We're going to start off in first gear, and I'll show you what it looks like. got some dust and I can tell you from the dust and the color of the grass this grass is nowhere close to being ready it might be ready to bail tomorrow night or possibly Wednesday morning but right now this this hay is not ready it's cool here in, in, in our town so it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry and this tether is going to help the process tremendously. I want to say making hay is fairly simple. Uh, I won't say it's easy. You cut it, you flip it, you rake it, and then you bale it. And after that, you got to pick it up. I do round bales here on the farm, and that enables me to do everything from a tractor. I don't have to get out too much and work the hay like, like square bales. If I had a square baler, I would have to get out and load the hay on or have people back there doing it. And round bales make it so much easier. So guys, I would say, I would like to say that, man, this is gonna be it for the day, but it's not. I need to get these two fields tetted and I might go into another field as well. It just depends. Well, here's something that's kind of interesting about Teddy. When you mow grass, let's say you've got a 10 foot cutter like I did, and you've got a 16 or a 20 foot tether. It takes half the time to ted as it does to mow. And that's cool. Because you can get it done pretty quick, and it's always a lot of fun. Guys, I want to say thanks for watching our videos. Consider giving us a thumbs up. Love to have you as a subscriber. We're always doing something different on the farm. And I mean that, guys, every day. It is something new. Today's been a hay day, um, and we're gonna be doing hay the next couple of days. Um, we've got B&B &B to clean, chickens to process, a spring to work on. Always something happening here on the farm. We're, we enjoy sharing, uh, with, and we enjoy sharing it with you guys. So leave a comment, let us know what you guys think, and until next time, God bless you guys. Okay, you want something interesting here? A little tidbit of information. My son, every time he gets in this tractor, he falls asleep. Now, he won't do it so much in the morning. But this time of the day, if I put him in this tractor, I better put a helmet on him because he's going out. It's so funny. He'll be riding around in the side seat. Boom. His head hits the side of the glass. Now I know I got to take him up and put it down.